welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question entertainment in math so problem states that congratulations you have been accepted to master's assistant center however you were extremely bored in class and got tired of doing nothing so you came up with a game for yourself you are given a string s and even in teacher n there are two types of operation that you apply to it Add reverse string S to the end of the string S, which means if you have CPM as a string, you can append MPC to the string or reverse the current string S. Else you can reverse the current string. If it is CPM, you can turn into MPC. It is required to determine the logic lexographically smallest string that can be obtained after applying exactly n operations note that you can apply operations of different types in any order but you must apply exactly n operations in total and the lexographically smallest definition is written here we are given input as t number of test cases even integer n and the string s and we need to output lexographically smallest string that can be obtained after applying exactly n operations. So first let's understand what is lexographically smallest. So if I have A, C, R and the next string is A, B, C. So this one is my lexographically smallest. Next, if I have B, C, M and C, B, A, so this one is the lexographically, sorry, this one is the lexographically smallest. Why so? Because we are comparing the alphabets. So here we first compare these two these two are equal we compare these two b appears b appears before c so hence b is lexographically smallest as compared to c hence this whole becomes lexographically smallest as compared to acr similarly b appears before c so this one is lexographically smallest so as you understood the definition now let's look at how to approach the problem so we have here four which means we need to apply exactly four operations and we have a string as c p -E m if you see this is already a sorted string so it is lexographically smallest one hence what we need to do is just reverse this string four times so if you reverse it first time it will become m p c then you reverse it again it become c p m so this is for two times and you can do next two times same and you will get cpm as the output so cpm is our final output now let's take another string which is GRIB. For GRIB, it is not lexographically smallest as G greater than B. So it will form BIRG. One operation is done. Now for another operation we will append the same string here. So it will be G R I B. So this will be our output as you can see here. In the next one you compare K and Z as K is smaller than Z. So we print it as it is. Here the string is reversed and another string is added which is the string itself and for rest of the operations the whole string this whole string is reversed 
so it comes back to here for this string it is lexographically smallest so it comes back so what we need to do is just check the string and then check if at any point s of i is greater than s of j if at any point this is the case then what we need to do is we need to reverse the string and add the original string to it this would be our answer if this is not the case then you can simply return the string so what is i and j here i is the index starting from 0 so i is 0 to n minus 1 and j is n minus 1 to 0 so j is starting from right and i is starting from left or else what you can do is just take the loop from 0 to n by 2 and check so you will get the output which is obtained here as in case of a b a c a b a if you check there is no point where si is greater than sj so it is written as it is while in case of grib the zeroth index is greater than the last index so this becomes true hence we return reverse of the string which is birg plus the string which is grib so here is the solution to the problem we take n s n is the length this is already given and then we initialize flag as 0 we move from 0 to n by 2 and compare if si is equal to s of n minus i minus 1 n minus i minus 1 is the iterating from right to the left so we continue at any point if left 1 is greater than right we put flag equal to 1 else we would break hence we get the reverse of the string now after reversing this if flag is 0 we return s which means if flag is 0 which means we have not encountered this loop else we would see out reverse and you can take t test cases and run for them so this is the solution to the problem i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching